Shit, we live? Yes, sir. You already know we live. What's poppin' with y'all, man? It's your boy, JG. You already know it's Jay Jonah. Diving into another episode, bro. Damn, we going to the, to the low end of the season right You're, now, What do brother? we call it, G? We on the back end, the for back sure. End. We, we all the way in the back end, damn near. We almost done with season nine, bro. This shit went by way too fast. Facts. Facts. Heck, I mean, you want to let them know what episode we on? They should know in the bio. You see it right then and there. You watching it. <laughs> this blank. Episode 7. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I got you. Were I mean, they know, I knew what it, You just said it. I'm on the team. I ain't going to say I'm with you. I'm with you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's yeah. a odd, y'all. It's a odd. You already know we got someone in the studio today, bro. This next individual in my mind, you put any beat on, she's going to go crazy. It doesn't matter. From any any genre of beat that you put on, she's going to go crazy in my mind. I don't know, but in my mind, it feel like it is. Yeah, they heard that Say right, that. G. It's a she. You know what I mean? That we we listen to our, our guests. They talk about we need females. Our partners good leave say, hey, we need more females. So guess what we did? We went and snatched a female. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, and sir. we didn't just get one. You know what I mean? We got the one and only, bro. You know what I'm saying? Say Oakland's that. finest. If y'all don't know who the fuck I'm talking about, <laughs> please give a BSP warm welcome to the real rap is back, Paris Knights. <laughs> Thank y'all. I appreciate you for having me. Hell yeah, appreciate hell that. yeah. How you doing, Paris? I'm doing good. What about y'all? Doing good. I'm chilling, chilling. I'm trying to get over. It's cold outside. I ain't gonna cap. I just freezing. Hate me. Man, <laughs> that's what I'm not liking right now. I don't. I like sweater weather, but I just like being warm too. So summer, please come along. But it's yeah. weird though. How, how like we just talked about at breakfast, bro. Like in Texas, it's snowing right now. That never happens in Texas. You know what I mean? And, wow. And, yeah, and then here it's like it's starting to get hot. It's gonna be like 75 next week too, though, or yeah. something. So it's like the weather's just so fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like global warming is really real. Yeah, for crazy. sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, he, he didn't say it, but I want to tell you, we appreciate you for joining us today. Uh, said that if you don't know what we're here to do on the Blowing Smoke podcast, we're here to give an elevated perspective on everyday situations, mm-hmm. talk our shit, and bring some real news to the table. And that's the new listeners tuning in as well. So y'all go get y'all blunts, sit, get y'all drinks right. You're going to sit back and listen to a dope conversation. You feel me? There we go. There Hell we yeah. Go. I'm ready I mean, to get into it. I mean, like, well, we still can't skim past it. I got this bar- of wine behind me that I'm pretty sure we're not going to dive too much in. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to just sip, sip today. Geez. You know what I'm saying? We asked Pete if she wanted to drink something, but at the end of the day, we still got to, we have to fulfill, you know what I'm saying, who who might need it, which is JG as usual. <laughs> We're in the me? middle of the day, guys. It was one of them ones, like, do we do it, do we not? Let's just stick to the cold one. Literally 1230 as we speak. Hell yeah. But I went and just picked up some, some light in my impression. It's a Cabernet, you know what I'm saying, 2017. It's called the Buccaneer. Shout out to the Bucks. They just lost. They didn't make it to the Super Bowl. They ain't make it to where they <laughs> should have been. That's crazy. But I have to go get Shout it. Shout out Tom Brady for the retirement, too. Brady. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, this is a... We, we drink it on that Brady pack right now. You feel me? This is what we drinking on. Brady pack. You know it's what I'm saying? It's not bad. Not 13, bad. 13, 5, y'all. 13, what is 5%. it? A cab? Cab. Yep. Yeah. You like wine pairs? No. Well, how old are you actually? I'm 23. 23? Okay. I don't drink, though. No? At all? Not, never? When you first turned 21, you didn't go oh, crazy? Oh, I drank before, but... Not my vibe. Not your vibe? Not okay. right now. No, no, got no. you. Got you. You focused. I'm focused. I, I don't like drink. That. I don't smoke. I'm just focused. Nice. Everybody has a vice. What would you say yours is? Advice? No, a vice. Like, or what was that? Is that the word I'm oh. looking for? A vice? Like a vice you, where you got to do something, you know what I mean, through your day? Mm-hmm. Like, we'll say me after a long day, I like to smoke a joint. Mm-hmm. But what do, what do you like to do after a long day? Um, Netflix. Netflix? Netflix. I like that. What okay. you watching on Netflix right now? Um, Ozark. Oh, that's um, a great show, bro. Oh, it's a show? That's a great yeah. show. Okay. I haven't got into it like I need to, but that's a great show. Yeah, it is. Um, shit, really, any new show that they put on, I'll watch it. I'll, I'll watch it and see if I like it first, and then if I like it, then I'll just keep fucking with it. Got you. You got watching you. the new Power series or like the Ghost series or anything like that? I haven't. I like to binge watch, so... There you go. I'm waiting. <laughs> wait till it comes <laughs> out. I feel you. No, you wait till it's all done. I'm the same way, though, because I've watched the whole thing, and then I'm like, fuck... Gotta wait a whole another year to watch right. it all again. You know what I mean? That's Gotta where I'm wait. at with BMF right now. Oh man, I wanted to come back so bad, G. I cannot wait for that shit to come back. I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it? Gotta no. watch that one. That's a I'm gonna binge too. watch it. You should. Yeah, you should. <laughs> that's what I that's why that's why I ain't watching it. I'm gonna binge watch it. Man. I feel you. I'm ready, pup. All right, well, for sure. My question, this is just me, I've her sitting down here for like the last five minutes. Mm-hmm. Are you from California? Because for some reason I've do you have you have like a little accent or no? Like are you no. where are you where <laughs> nah. are you from? I'm from Oakland. East straight, Oakland. straight up and down. Yeah. Parents born and raised. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Where, Where it sound like I'm from? I don't know. I just, I just, <laughs> for some reason, it's like, I just, I thought I heard like a little something in there, but I don't, I don't want to protect and pick out what it is. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Yeah. No. But I just, yeah, I had to ask that. Where'd you go to high school? Uh, Skyline. Okay. Oh yeah. Well, I think my pops graduated from Skyline back in the day. You play sports? Mm. Basketball. A little bit, but. 
Nothing too crazy. No? No. I got into music early, so that was my main focus. Like, well, yeah, When did you start getting into music? Let's, yeah, now let's get let's into get it. Into it. Right. Let's get into it. <laughs> um, so like 11, I mean, I first heard Nicki and I was like, this is it for me. This is it for me. I got to do this, so. You a Nicki fan from the beginning? Like from the jump? I mean, when I first heard her, she probably was out. Before mm-hmm. then, mm-hmm. but that was my first time like hearing her when I was like 11, 12. And yeah, since then, I was now I'm this gonna be is honest. What it is. And I, don't, I don't know how you feel about this Pink Friday, Nikki. Mm-hmm. Like, that's Nikki to me. This, I, I mean, she's she, she, she's coming back. She's, I mean, I know she had a baby and all that, so she was away. But the last two year, three year, four years of Nikki, I just. Eh. I haven't been too under her. her. Her rap isn't where it used to be. I know she just dropped a song t- today, to be exact, or yesterday, yes. with yesterday. Lil Baby. That shit was fire, though. I ain't gonna lie. So like I said, she might be back, but I don't know. I mean, we're gonna see. The thing is about Nicki, she's a female faith, goat. Bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> she can't, you, can't, you, can't, you can't replace a female goat. That's why she's versatile in so many ways. Right, it's true. She just shows that her versatility is she can hop on anything. That's for queen? Sure. Queen, for sure. You ever sure. been to a Nicki concert? No. Oh, I need sheesh. to go. Yeah, that's tight. So speaking on the music, I want to kind of just dive into it. Like I said, real rap is back. Substance is when I when people ask me who Paris Knights is, that's all I got to say is Substance, mm-hmm. like I told you. Was that always your style to incorporate solidity in your material? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Um, I try to, like, be diverse. So I'll know on, like, a beat, all right, this is my main focus. This is what I want to get off. I want to get off substance or I want to get off my punchlines, my bars. Mm -hmm. And then, like, you know, compared to another beat, I'll be like, I want to be playful on this. Mm -hmm. I want to grab this crowd. So I'll know before I start writing what I want to do and what I want to get off. Nice. No, that's a great way to say that because... Go ahead. No, I was gonna say. So you do actually write out all your lyrics most of the time. No, really, you're, even your freestyles. Of course, you got to punch in those ones. But most of the time, you like to write out your thoughts, bar for bar, things like that. Yeah, I'm definitely a writer. Yeah. Who could, who could, even the freestyles did you write though? You mean on my mixtape? Yeah, your mixtape. The yeah. thing me now. You wrote those. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Cool. Do, who critiques your um your art? I sh- I would say. Right, right here, your friend right here. Shout out, to, Shout uh, out Sam. This is my manager. Oh, your manager? Okay. My manager, my vocal coach, she's literally my everything. Okay. Oh, okay. For sure. I, I had that, that question. I was like, who 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 do you feel challenges you in the stew or like as a rapper? You would say Sam? Um, Sam, Dame. Um, honestly, I challenge myself too, though. Like, I'll be like, nah, that shit ain't it. Because I got to be better than my last, like. So, if I feel like it's not up to part, I got to go back. Like, mm. that's really important to me. So, so would you say your team brings out the best of you or you, if you got to bring out the best of you type of deal? Mm, doubts I, bring out the best of me. In mm. what way do you mean that, though? If somebody's like, because there's a lot of people doubt me because I'm not your typical female rapper. Um so that, I don't know, it just pushes me. Like, they don't know that it's, whole time, it's just literally, like, my fuel to my fire that I need to, like, push forward. So, in that way, like, it just makes me go harder. It makes me hungrier. When you, when you, you said you started out with music around 11 years old. What was the reason that actually made, what got you started in that? And what made you want to keep going for that? Mm-hmm. Um, well, Nikki's who got me started in it. What made me keep going Honestly, I don't know. I think it was just fun to me. Like, so you went I, straight to the booth? No. Nah. Yeah. No. How was that? How was that experience? Can you tell, nah. Let's, let's so, take it back. Like, was yeah. It just okay. In the... Let me break it down for yeah. y'all. Um. So I started like writing. Like I wrote my first rap to Dear Old Nikki, which is off of Pink Friday. Mm-hmm. Um. And I didn't tell nobody. I waited for maybe like a year, two years, and then I'll start telling people like, "Oh, I like to rap. I like to do this." They'll be like rap, but I would be too shy, and I'd be like, "Nah, <laughs> it's not time yet." And then maybe like two years after that, I started rapping in front of people. So now they like, well, like my friends, they like, oh, "Okay, you could rap, you could rap." Did you know you could rap though? Or like you like? No, I knew. You knew? Like you I knew. knew. Bars from the gate. Okay. I knew for sure. Okay. Because I knew right. that I studied. Mm. I knew I I went back and like broke down. Other people raps like Biggie, Nas, J. Cole, Nicki, like yeah. Jay-Z. I went back and I broke down they raps and like 
just try to figure out, okay, how do they make punchlines? Like, what's the difference from, like, storytelling? Like, when is it time to put a punchline in there? And when is it time to, like, nah, you just got to go. To like, have fun touch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So... I just studied. She's a student of the game. Right. A student of the game. That's amazing. You speak on like you're not the average female rapper. How is it being a female in a male-dominated industry? It's hard. It's, it's hard because it's like Nikki opened doors for like a lot of us female rappers today. But on the same time, like she's not, she's not like a... Um, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I feel like, in a way, I'm opening doors. If I make it, I'm opening doors mm -hmm. because I'm not your typical female rapper. In what so, ways, though? Like, what what is a female rapper? I mean, you have your ones who mainly talk about sex, who don't mm -hmm. really talk about any substance. Right. You have some who talk about both. Like, I could talk about both. I have. On my mixtape, you see, mm -hmm. I have. Mm -hmm. And then you have some who are just strictly substance, like... uh. Uh, Rhapsody. Or, yeah, mm -hmm. like Remy Ma or somebody Rhapsody. like yeah, that. Yeah, like, so, a lot of the times, if you're not, like, sex, then the label gonna be like, mm. she she not gonna sell. Wow. She not gonna sell. She can't, she's talking about too much substance, so it's like, I feel, I mean, I, diff, Nikki definitely talk about substance. Right. Like, you just have to be a fan of her and, and listen to it, but she does. But mm -hmm. in the industry, that's the quota of, you have to, it's sex sales, basically, is what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's crazy. So, like, that kind of like my question. I don't know. It should tie in. What would you say it would take to bring a bigger light to the female rap artist in the industry instead of it being a typical standard that is out there? How do we make it until like you know you just named off three different avenues mm -hmm. that in a sense should be combined into one, but people look at it like you said, labels look at it in three different avenues. Mm -hmm. Right. So how do we fix the stigma on what you're realizing, but other people don't want to make a realization about either? I mean, somebody got to break through that door mm -hmm. and show and prove, like, You don't nah. need to. Yeah, like, I'm going to let, let these people be who they are. If you force somebody to be somebody, you're going to be able to tell. This is not you, and it's not going to work. It's going to flop. Mm -hmm. So I feel like as long as she got talent, like, other shit plays along, too. Like, you got to be marketable and all that shit, right. but... If she got talent, she want to talk about sex one day, substance one day, like, that's what I want to do. If I want to talk about sex today, that's what I'm going to do. If I mm. want to talk about substance, that's what I'm going to do. But it's like, somebody just got to break down that door. Authenticity. I see that. That's crazy. Yeah. Do you feel like there should be more female collaborations? For sure. Yeah? For sure. Like, people don't, I, don't, I mean, I guess people do know, but it's like, you by yourself is amazing. But come together, incredible. Is the female community open to that female rap community? Then let's just say NorCal female rap community. Are you guys open to that though? Like I hearing you say yes, but like do you feel yeah. everybody else is? Or is I that am. I don't feel like everybody else is because I feel like the world makes it a competition between us. Mm -hmm. So it's like it only can be one, but that's not true. Right. It can be more than one. Like I'm about women empowerment. So love that. Love that. So Coming from Oakland, is there some uh, people, you know, some women in Oakland that you would actually be willing to collab with? Yeah, of course. I mean, I like everybody in Oakland, everybody in the Bay. So I'm willing to collab with whoever willing to collab with me. I love that we're talking about collaboration albums, but I feel like it's been a topic this week. I was just at the gym, uh, homie, like OG Simone guy, uh, I forgot bro's name, but he was just at, he was talking to me about Stockton and the Stockton music scene and how why can't we. Why can't all the dope producers in Stockton and all the dope artists come together and make one crazy album? You know what I mean? Right. Like kind of how uh, Zaytoven did with Empire. The, yeah. Yeah, with them. It's like, why can't that happen for our city? You know what I mean? And like come together in one and actually show what the fuck we got and expose it. You know what I mean? So I just, that just it's been weird. The collaboration has been a topic of conversation this week. I mean, it's not that it can't. It just has to has to be that topic in that city. And I don't think it's being brought up amongst, you know, I mean. Well, I, I just feel like it's not getting brought up in general. And I love that we're speaking on it right now because it needs to be. You get what I mean? I feel like we do need to collaborate. We do need to show the world that, hey, this city can produce and, and make a great music. You know what I mean? And it can get exposed to the whole world. And I feel like we can't do that while we're separated. You know what I mean? And where it's all a competition like she was talking about. This is true. You feel me? This is true. Yeah, but. 
I mean, honestly, uh, I'm a, I need to calm it down a little bit because I mean, <laughs> I got a, I got a lot of stuff written down, but I'm just trying to pick and choose right now. But I don't want to like take over any type of conversation. But with it being Black History Month, this is just my little segue. Mm. Who are some African American females that you ha- actually ha- have been inspired by in your past that you know that you that you uh, grown from or learned from? I should say, learned from. Mm-hmm. So you you would like them to be like famous? I'm assuming. No. You can say anybody, even your mom, yeah, African American yeah. individual. No, in, yeah. Anybody. So, um, my mom, my aunties, um, her. Shout out Sam. <laughs> Shout out Sam. Um, really, I try to take from like everybody around me because I surround myself with people I want to learn from. So I try to take from everybody around me, like soak as much as game I can. How um. How how supportive is mom with you in in, in the rap and in, in making music artist? Oh yeah, she's very supportive. I got signed to Dame right twelfth grade year, so I was oh, wow. about to graduate. Yeah. Okay. So you've been so, signed for a minute. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I've been with Dame for like six years now. Oh wow! Blessings, blessings. congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, that was definitely a blessing because it was like, I feel like it was meant to be. Like I had been working on music that whole time. And then right when I'm about to graduate, it's like, because you know you in that time where it's like, mm-hmm. should I go to college? Mm-hmm. Go should I do gym. this? Right. Mm-hmm. right in that time, it's like, boom, Dame came. So I feel like it was meant to be. That's yeah. meant. The boy Dame, right? He, he's, from, he's from Oakland? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, how'd you guys link? How did he find you? Um, a teacher. One of my teachers was friends with him and basically sent my music to him. Shout out to the teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Teacher. What? What, 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 what? Shout out to the teacher. Shout out Wu. Shout out Wu. I Man. love you. Thank you so Shout much. Out Man. Wow. Yeah. That's a trip. Build okay. a six-year relationship from it. Right. Yeah. And from, from there, it's always organic. Like, you knew Dame was the one. Like, I, I, okay, I trust him type of deal. Like, oh, you, yeah, for sure. Because I didn't feel uncomfortable. Like, you know, like, you could go around some niggas, and because you a female, they'll probably try to take advantage of you. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. whatever the case may be. But Dame not that type of nigga at all, so. That's dope. No, that's, that's good. Dope. That's Because re- you hear, I mean, not here, but, yeah, in a sense, you do hear about that. Like, when you go to Hollywood, uh, women got to do a little of this just to be able to get to there. Exactly. And you don't, you know, so that's good that you have that around you. Right. And are you the only one, only female that you he signed to? No. Or you're signed? He has somebody, but... He has to tell y'all that. No. Okay, okay. <laughs> Respect. How do you how do you prioritize when it comes to kicking it with your peers? You know what I mean? Whew. Wow. I think about that like every day. Um it's it's definitely hard cuz I'm so like determined and motivated with my music. And like if I'm having too much fun, I'll feel like Nah, it's somebody out there that's outworking me. Mm-hmm. I got to get back because, you know, hard work beats talent. Right, every time. Every time. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, but it's definitely important to have fun because that's what I create my songs off of, just experience. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, um, shit, I don't know because they be busy too. Like, my friends, like, fuck with the cameras. They, uh, My best friend, she has a clothing line. So she sells like hats and jackets. So we all be hella busy, but that's a great that's that's great that's a great circle to have. You know what I mean? Hell like, yeah. You guys are all busy. You guys are all working, and you guys can stay on top of each other if you're not. You know what exactly. I mean? That's cool. Now, okay, but in the prioritizing parts, is it? Hey, I'm free today. You know what I mean? Let's kick it type deal. Or is it? It's, it's just like, all on the fly moments. Yeah, we don't plan. It's like on a fluke. Like we got a group chat. So, <laughs> like after I'm done recording, I got a. Uh, I got my own little setup at the house. So after I'm done recording, I hit the group chat like, all right, I'm finna come to your house. Cool. That's and we'll dope. just chill. That's dope. Taking it back to the music, how do you determine, like, uh, when I hear you, you got music, you got different type of egos. Like, no, I hope you don't take that to an offense, but no. you got Paris, you got Peanuts, you got, you know, all your different types. Talk how do you shit. How do you, how do you know whenever to determine on that punch in or on, or when you're writing down, because you do write down, how mm-hmm. do you know when to determine that type of you know, delivery. Delivery. Or okay. ego, what ego to provide type thing. This, this episode, episode is brought to you by 209 Good Leaf. Ooh, we 
I'm smoking today, JG. This some gas sizzle. Even to you, J. Jonah, to come to the set and not bring me no weed. Man, bro, you already know we have a solution. Just hit the ladies down at 209. 209? 209 Goodly. Oh, the ladies at 209 Goodly. Yeah. I need to hear about that, honestly. They'll have it here in T-minus no time. They did say 30 minutes or less. We bro. got you for the express. You better hurry Let's up, because I'm the, rolling the up. Oh, no, I got the menu. I got the menu Episode right here. is about to start. Oh, they actually got a good amount of flour here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bam. Go to hold on, hold on. Wait. Hey, man. Bam. Talking about that. We just don't sit here and wait. Now, I wasn't lying to you, was I, boy? I was lying to you. Now, was I? Bro, so, that the, wasn't she, a wait. She was nice. She was really nice, too, at the end of the day. But like I said, bro, got me two A's, about 27 minutes. Wow. Beat it yourself. You, you can't. can't beat that. That's insane. Hey, I, I said T-minus no time. They did it literally in no time. Shout out to 09. So Paris is usually like the in love, sensitive one. So she's going to be on, I already know she's going to be on a love record. <laughs> um, P. Knights is on some shit like, okay, they doubted me type shit. I need to, I need to talk my shit. In my bag. I need to get in my bag. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, that's the, that's that, that fuel I was talking about. Like, all right. This is what y'all want. Y'all want the P, so I'm going to give y'all the P. <laughs> Gotta push and then, me too far. Right. And then Paris Knights is just, she's just like the overall star. Like, she's like, well, y'all don't want Paris Knights today. But she would have showed up here today. <laughs> y'all yeah. want the P, so the I'm P. the P right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We told Paris, like, hey, leave Paris at <laughs> home. We want, we want her to talk some shit today. You feel me? Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm the P right now, yeah, but hell yeah. this is usually Paris Knights' job. So she just the overall star. She the boss, so. That's dope. Yeah, go to my bed, bro. I want to speak on that. The, you dropped a cipher with all three of them. Mm -hmm. where, 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 what was the idea behind that? What was the inspiration behind doing that? People doubting me. Yeah. I literally was at home and I'm just thinking like, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? I'm like, I be saying it's the P. Like in my tags, after I rap, I'll be like, it's the P. Or I'll say Paris. Or I'll say Paris Knights. Mm -hmm. I'm like, fuck it. I should just have them battle each other. Ooh. It was your idea? Yeah. Oh, God, that's what I wanted to hear, bro. Y'all, if y'all haven't go check it out, go check out Paris's recent cipher Facts. she did for all three of her different egos, man. She killed her shit. She really talked her shit with that one, bro. I ain't gonna lie. With those three, which one would you say gravitates to to who you actually are? Um, I can't pick one because they all are me. Like they come out in different situations. Um, so it just depends on whatever situation I'm in. That's who gonna come out. Okay. What is one of the biggest battles you think you face daily? Um. It can be about life or music or just the first thing that came to your mind. You got some deep questions. Uh, not, man, man, we deep nice. today. Nah, these are some good questions though. <laughs> um. I mean, I say. I don't know. We got to come back to that. You got to let me think on that. So I think for me, I mean, I'm going to be honest. Like, I try to like act like my confidence is always there. You know what I mean? But I have those moments in, in times where it's like that. I don't even want to call it insecurities or whatnot, but like... I have to remind myself, you know what I mean? So I feel like that's been a daily battle for me is like to remind myself, like keep that keep that confidence, keep that chest held high, you know what I'm saying? Head held high type of deal, even when yeah. it's not when you don't feel that way. Nice. Any type of deal. You know what I mean? Nice. Yeah. You? you got one? I forget the question. Uh what is the daily uh challenge you of uh, uh, let me see. I got it right here. What is the biggest battle you face daily, you would say? Um, uh, my biggest just not overthinking. I overthink a lot. So I try not to overthink, but I do. So then that's me, like right now, still overthinking. What's your sign? Sagittarius. Oh. I don't know what, what that you? means, but <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> no, nah, because I'm an overthinker too. Oh yeah. What yeah. are you then? I'm a Pisces. Okay. Pisces. Yeah. Jay, you a Scorpio. Yep. Mm -hmm. Scorpio Drake. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> OVO. I think he's the 24th. I'm the 23rd. So mm -hmm. right yeah. there. Yep. Yeah. What about a biggest pet peeve? You got a biggest pet peeve? Uh, biggest pet peeve. When you're in the room, someone's smacking their gum. Like, what, what's your biggest pet peeve? Oh, shit. Oh, dude, someone was chomping there with their mouth open yesterday, bro. I swear I wanted to just reach over the table and, bro, I just give them one. Like, Chew your gum. <laughs> like, no, it wasn't gum. It's chewing food, bro. It's eating it. I'm like, bro, <laughs> come on, P. Like, you got to stop. Um, mine's would be... Messy girls. Hmm. 
Is that gossip or like physically like can't pick, <laughs> like, can't pick up their trash? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. That's like gossip. Like you just all in somebody else's business. Like mm-hmm. mind your business. It's true. What's up with females getting in people's business, man? Oh, Y'all man. just play your position, man. Come on, I feel like it's dudes too. No. Let's be honest, man. Yeah. People, that, dudes. Okay, let me take that. Messy people. There you it's go. true. Cause it's, yeah, it's true. Yeah. There's niggas out here like that too. No cap. Thanks. Well, I was just thinking something, but left my mind, honestly. <laughs> um. Hey, what? So you got signed at, uh, you said 12th grade, right? Mm-hmm. So with that, have you ever done any shows? How was that, you know, doing your first show? Yeah, so we did a, uh, I did a whole tour, thanks to her. She set it up. Shout out Sam. Shout, Shout out, out Sam. Sam, again, man. Sam getting some light today. <laughs> For sure. That's going to be like. The thing. Shout out Sam. Shout we just gonna keep saying hashtag. <laughs> shout out Sam. Out <laughs> one day. Shout out Sam. Let's do it. Um. <laughs> yeah. So she set up a tour, a high school tour, and it was great, amazing. Uh, we went to like Castlemont, my school, Skyline, Fremont. Oh wow. Tech. How how many years were you out of high school when you did that? Like when you went back to go, was Maybe it going like back two? to two go, years? Going back to Skyline. How was that? Like then performing there. I thought, I mean, because the kids was young, so they didn't even know me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, damn. It just happens. But the next I time you start, come back, they going to know you, For though. sure, for yeah. sure. But it's different when it's like, I just graduated. I went. I was in, like, class with you. Yeah. Now I'm on stage, like... Maybe That's they did different. know you. They just didn't want to support because they <laughs> people be hating sometimes. Yeah, That's true. Be hating sometimes. She was sitting right this close to me. Now she's up there. Right. Now that could have been me. You feel me? That's true. Never know. That's Never true. know. That's true. But you did it though. At the end of the day, and shout out your people that actually made a way for that to happen. Well, shout out Sam. Man. Shout out Sam. What, what school was the first one that you did? And and like, what was the preparation like to get on stage? Like, did you were you in the mirror all all night before? You know what I mean? Like, oh uh, yeah, for sure. We did rehearsal. Okay, that's good. Have I you ever did like an good. Apollo night or like, you know, have you ever done that growing up as a, no? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Never. Nah, because I was too shy back then. You when I did... first started, I was too shy. That's true. Okay, so when did that confidence come out to be able to just be like, I'm okay, if someone says pay, uh, P, let me see to some me, shit, and then you, you drop it. When did that confidence come um, about? Um, It was a now or never thing. I tell myself that like, if I don't do this now, I'm never going to do it. Hmm. Because it's like, I'm shy then, I'm going to be shy tomorrow, so you might right. as well do it now. Right. Like, So it's just like a now or never thing with me. What's your favorite part of the game? Hmm. Is it the creative in it? Is it the jumping on the stage? Is it the getting fly, taking them clean pictures, getting the music videos done? Like, What's your favorite part of the game? Um. Well, I feel like my it hasn't like I ain't reached my peak yet at all. So my favorite part will be hmm. feeding my family, feeding my people. Hmm. And then of course creating the music like so <laughs> She's thinking in the future, bro. Because like I said, we speak shit into existence over here blowing smoke, bro. You feel me? So she speak that shit. Like, we, <laughs> this, this is going to be crazy, man. Y'all better get in tune right now, right now. <laughs> Speaking about the future, I heard one of your lyrics. You said, you said, in the next five years, don't ask me in the next five years why don't, you're not going to have a kid, per se. You know what I'm saying? Her you goal, said, you five go, year goal. It's not a kid. It's not in that plan. Mm-hmm. Why is that the case? Um, I You're talking about lemon pepper freestyle. Yes. Yes. But I think you got the lyric wrong. No. <laughs> I think I said, I think I, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure I said in five years, we'll see. Right now, that ain't for me. Like, I'm grinding. Like, I need my kid to grow up way better than I did. You need you know? to be laced, you said. You said, I got to be laced and have this shit Laced like a frontal, you right. know? Right, yeah. Because yeah. this world, like you said, life life ain't easy, bro. So You know nah. what I'm saying? I'm, I'm the same way with mine, like... I want to make sure I have everything established to where I'm not worrying about if that bill can get paid. You know what exactly. I mean? Like, I want to be able to say no to my kid for a lesson, not because I can't. Exactly. You know what I mean? So that's I'm on the same boat you are. I feel you. It's not in my five-year plan. So you G do, old, but, though. So G, G, you G, G feeling the, the, nah, you feeling yeah. the pressure over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, no, I was, I was just saying, because I made, I, th- I took from it, it was like, you pretty much, you said five years, I was like, maybe she's never going to have kids type thing, but I was like, so you, <laughs> you, it's settling down is on your mind, honestly, but you just yeah. want to establish this career first. I'll be 
It's gonna my my when I have a kid, it's gonna be dramatic like Rihanna's, like how people people mm. was going crazy Talk around. Your shit. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. It was like all it. over the news. Yeah, and that's how my like shit. Gonna everybody. Be. That shit was I'm crazy. I'm not just nah. I mean, speaking on man's, what, what's Paris DMs looking like? I said, <laughs> what, what, what do you look for in a man's Paris? Um, definitely someone who has goals. Like you can't just be out here doing just anything. Mm-hmm. Um, priorities. Uh, family oriented, um, sweet, but somebody try you, you know what time it is. Um, smart, funny. Making it, I'm, all these characteristics, I hope motherfuckers just check. Out. I'm that. I'm, I'm, that right there. About to be like, I'm right there. Hey, I heard what you said. I'm all that and above. That's, what, <laughs> <laughs> that's hella funny. Hey, so <laughs> that's the case. You know how to cook. No. Okay, so you got all these standards that you want from a man, but Come you can't on, even make P. a grilled cheese sandwich? Come on, P. You be a billionaire. We're not going that shit, bro. We're, We're not going there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I just want to ask. Oh, oh man. That's funny. We got we to gotta learn that one, though. We got to be able to learn how to, you know, before the kids come, too. But, man. <laughs> we'll, right, we'll learn it eventually, but I'm focused right now. I That's get hilarious. <laughs> I get you. What does your diet look like? I mean, it's random, but... What, mm-hmm. is, what does your diet look like? Is it something you go to McDonald's and you get in the stew type of deal? Are you eating vegan? Like No, nah, I don't. I mean, I had some McDonald's fries last night, but I don't eat McDonald's. <laughs> Definitely don't eat McDonald's. Uh, I got a trainer. His name's Mark. Shout out, Mark. Shout, Shout out, Mark. Mark. Um, <laughs> you be working out in the gym and shit? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That's cool. So he, he trying to get my eating together, but... That shit's hard. 80 20. Yeah, 80 20. It's 80, 80% diet, 20% working out. And I'm terrible on the 80. No. I'm good on the 20, but I'm terrible on the 80. So it's all about what you put in your body, bro. Yeah, because you can work out as much as you want, but if you just constantly eating bad shit, mm-hmm. you're defeating the purpose. Yeah, I feel you. Mm. Yeah, well, I'm probably a victim of that. <laughs> I definitely just eat whatever I want. But I'm skinny, though, so it's like... Yeah, your shit. metabolism is lucky, bro. I eat a burrito, I'll gain five pounds, bro. It sucks. Taking it back to the music, <laughs> though, what would you say, uh, Paris, what would you say that you've noticed that is different for the as a female for the female artist versus the male artist when trying to get established in the industry? Um, Are opinions or more pushed to the side? Um, we, they have this thing where I guess they think like, we don't know what our vision is. So they need to like provide a vision for us. Mm-hmm. But it's like, if a nigga come in here and he'd be like, Oh, I got some guns and I'm from the hood. That's the vision. They riding with that because they seen it a hundred times. Mm-hmm, true. So I feel like, yeah, our pain's getting pushed to the side. Um, respect level. Um... Now, I, I've, if I'm not mistaken, like at the boy Dame CMG, all in that Interscope like vibes. I, if I'm not, I do see women in the whole A and R like so. So I feel like women empowerment is kind of getting in the industry no, a little it's more. It's getting better. Yeah, it's definitely getting better for sure. But that just goes from like, uh, men like, feeling the same way about women empowerment. Like, mm-hmm. nah, don't treat her like that. Mm. She can do the same job as as a as a nigga like if not or better, from if other being honest. yeah or females that's in higher positions to put other females in it so it's definitely getting better but I like that I'm ready to take a deep breath you ready to take a deep breath yeah that's fine I said Paris is a segment for the people at home you already know take your deep breaths you, you got people don't appreciate a deep breath during a long day you're in traffic you're stressing you're moving getting anxious quick deep breath can help right right so this is a segment we like to call first thought it's literally self explanatory I want the first thought that comes to your mind when I give you this person place or thing and why alright dun dun dun, dun. It's not nothing crazy nothing crazy it's, 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 <laughs> so let's see first one music Nikki Nikki, what? That was my first thought. I said that one. I I like it though. I mean, (laughs) she she was the inspiration. All right, let me see. Thank me now. Um, flowers now today. Mm, That that's what that that was the meaning behind the title. Mm -hmm. You want your flowers now? Mm -hmm. Did Drake have anything to do with that that title? Um, I I love Drake, but no. (laughs) <laughs> like it. It, it came from just me feeling like I'm the underdog like y'all know who I am now well at least like my city mm-hmm. like y'all know who I am now so support me now don't wait to like 
somebody from somewhere else come and grab me and be like, yeah, she the next one. And then, then y'all like, come mm, on. That's how I feel. Right. That's true. At the end of the day, that happens a lot. I mean, like, they, she's saying it from, you know, the actual source. They, they always say that you got to go outside of your city to go get it. And then your city will come at, come later. It's, it's, a, it's, a sad, it's a sad truth. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay. You, you kind of said it already, but Nicki Minaj. Mm. What was the first thought that comes to your mind? By saying her name? Her name. Uh, inspiration. Inspiration. All right. 2019. <laughs> Motown. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, I was signed to Motown. Okay. Yeah. Really? So then, so what happened with that in 2019 Then it transpired to 2020 now? Um, it just didn't work out. We just went our separate ways. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, 35th Street, Ogden, California. Um, my mom, Drea. <laughs> Got you. That's home though, right? Yeah, that's home for sure. Hell yeah. And but she from 35th too, so that's why. Got you. Yeah. Got you. All right, last one. Play too much entertainment. The boy Dame and Big Vaughn. First thing that comes to my head. Um. I don't know, honestly. <laughs> I don't know. Play too much entertainment. You, I know you got something. When someone says play too much entertainment, what's the first thing that comes to your head? That's the label. Uh, first thing comes to my head is before anybody else seen it in me. Hmm. There you go. I like that. Mm-hmm. I like that. There you go. First up. It ain't bad, actually. It ain't bad, huh? It ain't bad. <laughs> it ain't bad. <laughs> Um, I just got a little, you know, kind of random, not really, but, um, what would you say is your lane of music? And I say that because when I hear your freestyles, I hear like an East Coast vibe, but when I hear certain songs, I also hear a West Coast vibe. So I'm just trying to see for me personally, what's your inspiration behind what you provide for people to listen to? And how do you come up with that type of style? Mm -hmm. Um... Well, and I hope what? you don't take that personally with me giving that opinion. Also, no, 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 hell no. Um, shows their versatility by you saying that. Yeah, cause that's what it is with me. Like, I just want to show I'm versatile. Like, when I'm writing a record, I'd be like, "This shit sound like the last one." Nah, I got to do this, or I'll like be inspired by another artist. Like. Be like, I need to make a song like that. Like, you know how you love a song so much, you wish you wrote it? Like, it'd be that type of feeling. So it's really just me wanting to be versa versatile and push my pen. Like, don't box me. Don't tell me what I can't do because then I'm going to go do it. Hmm. Got you. So You really don't like to be doubted, huh? Nah, I don't. Because you, I mean, you're just going to prove yourself wrong. Like. Cause I know I know what I'm capable of. So is that always coming from a young age? Like you've always had that kind of just chip on your shoulder type of deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause I mean, as a I mean as a kid, I wouldn't necessarily say I was the underdog. But when I came out about like doing my music, definitely was the underdog. Mm-hmm. Definitely was the underdog. And then I feel like I I never really like stepped in my light like I could have. I always like stay back and play my position in and let them shine. Even though I knew like if I step out, it's mm-hmm. gonna be a little lighter than yours. Mm-hmm. But I just stay back and I don't know why. Like I guess it has to do with like being too scared to step out too far. So now I'm just like nah. Fuck it. It's Fuck mine. That. It's yeah. my time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, your following has grown at, at, like pretty quick in the last couple of months, if I'm not mistaken, right? No, definitely. Uh, I've gotten like maybe like nine k, ten k within the last six, five months. That's the, what, what do you think the start was? What do you think the start of, was for that? Like where, where did that kind of you start to see that? What, what was that? Uh, so I started dropping freestyles on my own at first. Um, I would just like link up with my camera guy and I already had his shit written and uh, it'll be like, I wasn't picking like specific songs. It'd be just any song I like and then hop on it. And then I noticed like, oh, they fucking with this. So then I'll like talk to my friend and be like, what's the most popping song right now? She'll tell me. And then I hop on that. And then we reached out to a good company. Shout out Lil Russell. Mm-hmm. Shout out Lil Russell for sure. BSB um, alumni right there. Yeah, we reached out to him and 
he uh posted me on Good Company and on his page, and that shit just went crazy. Like, and then you did conversation on that one, right? Yeah, yeah, that was, I love that song, bro. Thank you, thank song. you. Yeah, and then after that, um, people just start fucking with me. Like, I still kept doing. I did this thing called uh. P mix and I dropped it every Monday. Mm-hmm. So after that, people just start fucking with me and shit. I guess sharing my shit and people start coming. Consistency. So we talk about it like male and female. We already know as a male, you have to stay consistent to make it. But mm-hmm. what about a female? How important is it even more for you guys to to be stay consistent? Um, it's important to stay consistent as a female, but to also be seen as a female, mm-hmm. like. It has to be content, 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 content. And you got to be, like, dolled up. You got to... Because you got to be marketable. Right. This is what we... It's social media. They want to see you drippy. They want to see your chain out. Mm -hmm. This is just what they want to see. So, Mm -hmm. I feel like that pressure is more on women than it is on guys. Like, a guy can throw on a t-shirt with a hat and some chains and... He's, He's just marketable. the coolest nigga out. Like, <laughs> I feel so, you. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but now that's true, though. How do you like that stigma, though? At the end of the day, like, of course you do like getting dolled up. Every, yeah. You know, everybody does. But how do you like living? Like getting dolled up? I'm talking about females. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about females. To everybody. Or, that is every, every female. My every bad. Female. <laughs> the camera on this one. But how do you feel about that stigma? Like, I, I mean, like, would you? You could actually go out and do what you want to do. Like you said, everybody, every artist should be able to be themselves. Mm-hmm. So why don't you do that and have that be known? Because that might be a gravitational sense that people are like, okay, I fuck with that. She's actually mm-hmm. out here. You know. Um, I I don't really have a problem with it because, like you said, I like getting dolled up. I like being cute. So I personally don't have a problem with it. Um, so that shit do get annoying sometimes, though. Like, because you could just see a nigga and he literally just threw on a chain. He has on, like, sweats and a shirt. <laughs> And that's it, like right. for a whole video shoot, and it's like that's true though. You got like five different We've outfits. You gotta right, do, you gotta you gotta do five We've different hairstyles on the whole Come thing. Come on, or, man! Like yeah. the budget for a female is crazy. Ooh, yeah, that's one thing that we do. We don't even think about hair, makeup. Like when you sign a female artist. I would, I'd rather go get a dude than a female. She's going to cost way more. You know what I mean? If you think about it. She's going to last longer, though. Ooh, talk your shit. <laughs> talk your shit. Um, what do you feel like you need work on when it comes to your craft personally? This episode is brought to you by Cold One. It's blowing smoke! Yes, sir. About this day. Jay, come on now, bro. Bro, you didn't even touch your cold one? No way. Come on now, bro. Do that. I'm going to go use the bathroom real quick. 9.5 pH alkaline purified water? That's some high quality H2O. Um, I mean, I'm always working on my craft. I don't feel like, like I'm not cocky or arrogant and feel like I can't learn from the greats. So mm-hmm. I'm always working on my craft. Like I push myself. Uh I don't think I'm the best rapper like right now. I feel like I'm going to get better. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm great, feel like I'm good, but of course I can get better. So I hear you singing on some tracks. Did you ever do like vocal school or anything like that or do classes? Shout out Sam. Sam got you <laughs> in the classes? Well, Sam is Sam. a singer herself. Is that right? Oh, oh Sam might need her own episode. <laughs> I was about to say, for real. <laughs> nah, for real, y'all gotta get Sam. Got uh-huh. Sam. But so she she kind of just helped you out through that process? Or? Yeah, when I first uh signed with Dane, I was such like a Rap pad. I'm like, I'm not singing. I'm not doing that shit. They like, no. Just try it. Just try it. Mm-hmm. So then I try it, and I've been hooked on it ever since. Now they can't get me to stop singing. <laughs> they be like, bruh. Like, can you go back rap to the rapping? Rap on this shit. Yeah. <laughs> but what, I mean, hearing you say that, do you enjoy singing more than the rapping now, or are you nah, it's a balance? It's a balance. Gotcha. Cause you, at the end of the day, you could be a great rapper, but you got to be a great artist. Mm-hmm. Like that's why it's like. The battle rappers, like, they typically can't cross over into the artistry because they don't know how to write a record. They can't, like, can't make a song. Yeah, I know how to write records, so it's like, you got to make sure, it has to be a balance. You have to make sure the bars is good, and you got to make sure your writing ability, the writing a song mm-hmm. is good. So, it has to be a balance. How hands-on are you in the studio? 
as far as like you know when it comes down to your engineer do you oh, play yeah. an instrument or anything like that like uh, I used to play piano back in the day. But no? No. So are you in the, like, do you actually go over there and critique the engineer? Or do you just let the engineer do their own thing and then they give you the product? Uh, no, I'm, I'm hands on. I'll tip my engineer is MD. Shout out MD. Shout out MD. We giving out shout outs to <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll tell him like, not, cause I'll do like, um, when I'm singing, I do tracks. So, and I do harmonies. Mm. MD will turn down your harmonies. And I'll be like, bruh, turn that shit back up. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, I definitely, I'm hands-on. I'll be like, take that ad-lib out, put that back in, turn that up, turn that down. So, yeah, I'm hands-on. That's good. So, That's like, nice. we talked about it. Are you kind of, like, you you were a student of the craft, but getting into the studio, when was that transition and, like, learning that, like, that portion of it to actually, hey, I'm in front of this mic now and... I got these headphones on. I'm in the booth by myself. You know what I mean? Like that's a, that's a different that's, feeling. No, it's that's yeah. Right. Uh, well, the first time I went to the studio was with my brother. Shout out Nino. Shout out Shout Nino. Nino. <laughs> um, I had like seen him on like I forgot what Jeez, social media platform he was on, but I had seen him on I think it was Facebook maybe I don't know, but he was rapping and he had a group called Moe. And I reached out to him. I was like, bro, I want to be a part of that. And he was like, all right, send me something of you rapping. I sent it to him. He was like, you're not there yet. <laughs> Damn, right <laughs> away. How'd, how'd that, that feel? Wow. He was like, I mean, it felt like, all right, bet. Watch this. Mm-hmm. You doubted me. You chip on <laughs> Watch my shoulder. This. So I came back like six months later. He was like, Damn. Hmm. Come on. Let's do it. So I had told my mom, but mind you, I'm still young. I'm like 13. He's maybe like 19, 18 at the time. So she was not trying to let me go to the studio. Mm, hell no. Oh, uh, hell yeah. fuck no. You got yeah. me fucked up. Hell no. Man at this point. Man. Yeah. So we, me and my mom pulled up. She eventually said, okay, we pulled up. But they came out the wrong way. Like, this nigga came out with other niggas. Mm. They smelling like weed. Yeah, she like, nah, nah, we leaving. Ain't it. <laughs> didn't get out the car type thing. We didn't get out the car. Oh, wow. We didn't get out Damn. the car. Oh, wow. That's... But um, she eventually, like, let me go with him. So I probably was, like, maybe 14, 15. I don't really know. And then I, I remember it was in the 30s. It was in somebody's house. I forgot the dude's name, but... um. I just came with my shit written, and he was like, damn, you gassed me. Like, mm-hmm. I need to go back and rewrite my <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. He rewrote it? He, 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 <laughs> he, put, he put some more bars in there. Got but, you, got you. Yeah. No, that's dope. That's dope. So you, you kind of just, it was like. I was nervous, but I ain't show it. There you go. There you go. She jumped right in the booth. Yeah, yeah. I just jumped right in. I, I was nervous, but I ain't show it. So That's no, weird. That's good about it. Where we at, Z? Wish. What what was what's your most memorable moment right now? You know, going through this wave, this journey right now. What has been your most memorable moment through it all? Um, great question. Yeah, great question. Um, really, actually being signed to a real uh, label because it's like I'm from 35th. I'm from Oakland, so. It could be easily like you can really convince yourself that's too much of a far fetch. Mm-hmm. So the fact that I was just like a girl in my room and I'm like, I dreamed of being signed to a label and then I actually got signed, right. like mm-hmm. that shit was just amazing. So that did, have to be that. How did that come about though? Was it just, you know, some people people always think it's an overnight success. I mean, you know, or not overnight, it just happens just like that. You know, how did that come about? Was it a DM and it just a quick response, yes or no? What was that process mm-hmm. like actually getting signed to a label? Mm-hmm. For people that probably will never get through it, you know, get get to establish that. Yeah. I mean, the process is, well, for me, it was with Dane. Uh, he just shopped, shopped us around and um, the labels, they just fucked with it. They just fucked with it. And he sold the deal. He told them what it was, and they fucked with it. So mm. that's how it came around for me. I know for other people, it might be, a, well, I know it's harder. So I just was 
blessed to be in a blessed situation, honestly. Shout out authenticity. Dame. Authenticity, I think. Like Dame seen the authenticity and said, I got you. I'm going to run with it. You Facts. know what I mean? And shout out Dame. No cap. Let's say. Yeah, shout out, shout out Dame. And shout out, Dame. Uh, Dame uh, shout out Yo Gotti. I know they shout just dropped that Gotti. album. That shit dropped yesterday. That shit fire, bro. Fire. Man, there's one on there, bro. I just can't stop listening to. We'll talk about that later, though. Yeah. <laughs> Do you work with the same engineer all the time when you go to the booth? Mm-hmm. All the time. MD. All the time. MD, shout out MD. Shout out, shout out, well, I mean, yeah, I MD. Shout out MD for sure, for sure. Yeah. All right, no, that's good. Um, then, wait, no, I just got one random one because I swear to God, if I don't get this you off, could, go ahead, go I've ahead, been go trying ahead. to get this off since the beginning. This <laughs> is supposed good. to be my intro. Have you ever battle rapped? You say Nikki a lot, but have you ever actually battle rapped anybody? No. Nah. Never? No. Is, you that think you one, could? is that a goal? Yeah, yeah. I can. I can do anything I put my mind to. Ooh, say that shit. But. I mean, I'm not a battle rapper. I don't care to get into all that because I'm an artist. Like, you going whatever bars y'all need to hear, y'all going to hear it on the record. And it's going to be fire. Because, I, like I said, I'm going to give you that real rap record. And you if that's what you need. And then I'm going to give you some artist shit. So it's like, I don't really care to do that. Now, if somebody tests me, mm-hmm. it just got to be what it is. Like Now, when it comes to features, are you? do you see that? Like, I got to murder him in the booth? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I feel like everybody should get on the record like, yeah, you my homie, but sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I got to go crazy on it. I like it. I like it. So, yeah. Is there a dream collaboration? I know we talked about it earlier. I should have asked that earlier, but is there a dream collaboration that you want besides Nicki Minaj? Beyonce. Beyonce? <laughs> Beyonce, for sure. I'm part of the Beehive. You're part of the Beehive? Shout out the Beehive. <laughs> that was going to be my... <laughs> so, you know, Nicki Minaj got the bars. Beyonce got the Beehives. What does Paris Nights have? What you, what you, what do you got? Ooh. Uh, mine's was peas, and then... All of this pee shit started coming out. Oh, push your pee. Push your pee. Yeah. Push your pee. Came around. Well, you should, you turn that no, into I'm still doing too. that. I'm yeah. still doing that. Like, I have this thing where in my raps, I'll make a punchline out of pee, but different ways. So, you know how oh. um, Wayne, Wheezy F, Baby, mm-hmm. and the F, so he kept doing that. So, my thing is, like, I'm going to find a way to make a punchline out of pee. Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. No, I like that. I definitely fuck with Wayne for doing that. F definitely stand for hella different shit. <laughs> hella shit. Shout out Wayne. That nigga's amazing. When it comes to like just speaking, or right, or just when it comes to your emotions and expressing yourself, do you feel you do that better when it comes to all the pen and paper than you do like in a hand in hand conversation type of deal? No, nah, I think I'm a pretty deep person. Yeah. Like okay. My friends tell me I'm I'm pretty deep. Like if you need some advice. I'm the person to call. Like, my friends be calling me, so. Now, I, I mean, I would say the kind of the same thing. I've, I've been around people, but those people give great advice, but don't necessarily listen to their own advice. Yeah. Are you, which one are you, do you listen to your own advice? Or are you? Uh, I definitely listen to my own advice. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, you say, because that's, that's the challenging thing. You can tell someone else something, but are you really doing it? You True. know what I mean? Yeah, and if you're not, you shouldn't be telling them that. Oh, there you go. But I definitely listen to my own advice because it's not like my, the advice I give to people is not just solely like about music. It's typically really never about music. It can be any situation. And I'll really just give my opinion on it, like what I, what I would do. So, yeah, I definitely take my own advice. Like, what do you want from this life? Um, genuine love. <laughs> That's all I need to say right there. Real shit, bro. Shout out to genuine love. Oh man, man. cause you just like you gotta just go far fetched for it now, but you gotta ask for it. Like, no, can I just have it genuinely? Can I can it just be expressed genuinely without me having to do it or there be a. a What's it? I do this for you, you do this for me type of deal. Like, you know what I mean? Like, someone on the back end, like, just, can we just have genuine love in this right. world, bro? And if you don't, you just don't. I'm just not for you. Right. That's that. Oh, man. Say that. Damn. That's some <laughs> real ass shit, man. Can't we all just get along? For real, <laughs> right. for real. I'm feeling good. I mean, yeah. I mean, I got really not too much left. Uh, yeah. We're in 2022. One. You got Thank Me Now out now. Mm-hmm. If you guys haven't uh, listened to that, go stream it. Go stream She's it. hopping on some of the best beats that you hear to this day. Um, 2022, what's, what's coming now? What's, 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 what are we going to see from the P? Um, definitely an album. Album? Yeah. Is it in the works or what are we talking? It's Is for it... sure in the works. Um, I got about four songs done that I'm for sure using. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to have like 10 to 11 songs on there. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I've recorded a bunch of songs, but, you know, not every song make it. Right. So, so you have a vault? You do have a vault of songs? Oh, yeah. Yeah? 
every artist should have a vote. <laughs> and if you don't, that. you're doing something wrong. <laughs> That's the truth, though. For real, for yeah. real. That's, yeah. cool. That's the truth. So yeah. definitely an album. Um, I want to get signed this year. Um, yeah. I just want to turn up this year. I'm trying to go far this now, year. Now, with the album, are we getting original music? Are we getting another freestyle-like no, album? All original. All original? All original. Okay, cool. What was the strategic... Uh, background behind the hopping on freestyles for an album, like was that your idea? Was that something where you like, I, let me show my people my bars type deal, and then we'll come mm. with the original music later? Like, um, it was P. You need to get that shit off. Mm. <laughs> so that's just. I mean, we didn't tip. We didn't necessarily know like we we need an album after this. We knew it had to be music after this, mm -hmm. but not necessarily an album. Could have been a single, an EP, whatever. Right. But uh, album just works best. So I'm excited, bro. I'm a Paris Nights fan, bro. Thank you yeah. so much. Honest, I don't. I can't listen Facts. to these females' music nowadays, man. Like you said, I'm not. I can't. Can't slap that in the whip. I can slap Paris in the whip, bro, and be cruising. You definitely do. You feel me? So I'm excited, bro. I Thank can't wait you. for that album. No cap. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm feeling good, G. Get a sign out. Cheers. Honestly, cheers. I guess we can cheers. How was that cold one? You like that cold one? Yeah, we can. I cheers with this. Cheers. Shout out to this one. I was gonna say that. Cheers. What are we cheers into? Cheers, man. Cheers to the future, bro. And, and success. And, and success. a great interview. You know what Thank you. And a great yes. conversational interview. Yeah. Cheers to Paris. Well, that's yeah. That's a wrap. <sighs> that's a wrap for the podcast, y'all. Y'all yeah. already know the vibes, man. Back into the season nine, bro. Back into season nine, man. Thank you, Paris Nice, again for coming through. Shout out, P. You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all um, for having me. I appreciate it. For where sure. can they find you at? Social medias, all that. Um, uh, you can find me on Instagram at Paris Nights, on Twitter at I am Paris, on TikTok at P Nights, mm -hmm. and yeah. Oh, you be on TikTok? Or TikTok go crazy. I be, I'm just starting. I'm just starting. All right, say that. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> we got to get on yeah, TikTok. Say, we don't, yeah, facts, facts. That's the next way, man. Hey, make sure if y'all made it this far, go follow, like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you know when we dropping. We dropping weekly. So keep, keep, click that notification bell and we can keep you all coming. Yes, sir. You feel me? I'm feeling good. Jonah, J. Jonah said it the best right then and there, man. It's your boy, JG, y'all. You already know it's J. Jonah. Signing out with... It's the P. It's man. the P. And we out. It's blowing